all right guys hello everyone um, I've been wanting to make these videos um, about how to deal with the problems that we have when we are actually playing um, this is this is something that I by experience for many years teaching I have people coming up to me people from all ages and even uh, different levels of the game beginners intermediate and advanced that they struggle um, let's say uh, with the same problems that we all have when we're playing sometimes um, we're fearful sometimes we're kind of choking sometimes we just it's just many things that that can happen to us when we are when we're about to play today I have as you can see um, I have like an infographic that shows um, uh, it shows four different situations. I'm gonna go through the first one, and then I will separate the other one, the other three on different on different videos. But today, in order to make it shorter, so um, I w I don't want to go too deep into all of it. Okay, on the whole uh, infographic. So if you see me looking down, is because I, I'm, I'm reading on my notes, and and it's 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 just a stuff that I need to. Uh, stuff that I like, like to write down, so I won't remember. I won't forget talking about it. And let's. Uh, unfortunately, my my uh, I didn't get my my cursor to work, so I can be uh, pointing at all the all the, the points where we're going. But we're gonna go with the first one where we see the self-imposed limitations thing. So let's let's go with that. Um, many times when, we, when you're gonna play a match, we have baggage from time before uh, sometimes we just don't feel like we're good enough to beat someone or sometimes when we're even even when we just you just warming up sometimes you feel like oh this guy has has a pretty good forehand his forehand is better than mine or he's younger and he moves better he has a better serve he's taller whatever so usually by the time you start playing the match either in a slower or in a bigger um, number or 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 it's uh, or or the edge case is 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 more. Um, um, I have time to find a word to say it. It's some. It, let, let's say that some people have more problems um, with those self-imposed limitations, and some people have uh, less problems with that. It depends on every person. And one of the but um, one of the things that happen is that when you already when you already have self-imposed limitations. The next thing that happens is when, when you're playing, we focus more on the game count or the decent score. Sometimes that's what happens. And what I mean with that is that when you're playing someone that usually you play, you know, you play to win. Then a lot of things are going through your mind. And then you're saying, you know what, if I, if I, get, if I win six or seven games from this guy, I'll be happy with that and that is pretty much this is core that matters and it's pretty much like social pressure that you don't want to look good like i don't want this guy to be the crap out of me so it turns out that it went from being a match that you walked into the court thinking i'm trying i'm gonna try to win this i'm gonna try to have fun and i'm gonna try to win of course it and ups being um something that i don't want to look good so I want the score not so sound so bad. So if it's a three six three six three, or a six four six three, at least I can say, hey, you know what? At least I make seven games out of, you know, out of this match. So and and you're thinking that that is not gonna sound so bad and that's gonna make you look good, and that's pretty much just to save face with your friends or your family or whoever. And that's when you're starting to distort the reality or the reason why you're stepping on the court. First, you know um, why you and, and that's moving away from the idea that okay, if this guy is, is better or whatever it is with his game, you have to start thinking. This is like a chess game, and what am I gonna do? What can I do? What can I change in the way I'm playing? What can I, ch I change with the kind of shots that I'm making and all that? You have to try to find a way and experiment and and and, and look. And one way and the other, what you're gonna do? But instead, many times we give up and I say, okay, well, I just want to get a decent score, so that won't sound so bad. Now, that usually happens because of social pressure. 
when it happens because of social pressure you're thinking things that happened to you in the past and they probably were giving you a hard time because you barely beat someone or you lost to someone that you were not supposed to or you can then you can see him in the future coming up to you and saying hey how come you lost to this guy and you beat this guy that is better has a better ranking and then you lost to this guy and things like that happen so you're moving to an external focus then you're moving to an external focus which is what people are going to tell you about it this is social pressure and also you're traveling in time you're 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 moving you're jumping from the press you, you have the present and you're going from the present to the past the things that happened in the past and then what the, the they're going to repeat in the future and then what they're going to tell you in the future when you lose to this guy and stuff like that so in the end the reason why you stepped on the court has changed it became more like it's becoming more like kind of like if it's not a nightmare but it's just not a good time because you you, you you're focusing more on how many games you can make and and then your focus which is supposed to be like okay i want to have fun and i want to see how good i can be and throw everything out there and if and if it's a challenge i i want to be able to at least try to solve this challenge and then that challenge is uh, you know ends up being the challenge of facing whatever they're gonna you're gonna be told you don't know what 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 are people going to think about you you know and not looking back not being humiliated and obviously from there the next thing that happens is that um, the goal has changed you know like like I say you're going from having fun you know and winning to not getting humiliated and uh, that's pretty much when you can say that fear has taken over the driver's seat that is fear now in charge of you and your emotions so that's 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 one thing that you really want you um you have you have from the moment you step on onto the court from the moment you set foot on the court you have to have the idea that okay this is probably going to be a difficult match you you should you should have an idea of this guy's play hopefully you've seen him before playing other matches and you know his his rankings uh, you probably have some information so the moment you set up foot on the court you have to have in your head the idea like okay I'm here I'm here one thing that you have to do as your goal is like I have I have to get to the point where being challenged and trying to find the solution to this game to this match which is more like a chess game is more a mental thing I have to get used to 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 see those situations those challenges as part of the fun and part of me growing as a player and as a person as well because I guarantee you if, if you can shift the, the the way you're looking at things and look at it from that perspective like it doesn't really matter if I win or lose I just have to be in the fight I just have to be trying I just have to be um, trying to find the way to do this you know and, and trying to stay away from what people are gonna tell me and trying to stay away from those memories from the past that I don't like and thinking about the future how am I gonna look what are they gonna tell me that's going to affect my game and then I'm gonna you know you end up just uh, probably getting in a, a you know that's what actually brings those um, those uh, when you have like a like a streak of bad matches many times usually what happens is that you replay a lot of you have a lot of time jumping in your head and you just go it's like a pinball just goes back and forth not never to the present but more from the past to the future from the past to the future from the past to the future from what they told me to what they're gonna sell to what they're gonna say to me from from what I did here to how I'm gonna look and what they're gonna judge and all that so you have to learn to stay in the now you have to learn to to move all that stuff um, out of your head and, 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 and one thing that is going to help is yeah you got you have to stay in the now you have to leave the match in the moment but you have before you set foot on the court before you get in there you have to say okay this is probably going to be a difficult match but that's the reason why I'm here that that's part of the game and that's actually the part of the game that is that you have to understand and adapt to the idea that this is the part of the game that is actually going to make me better player and 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 you that's when you start looking at the game the different way 
you start reading the ball better, you start reading the depth, you start reading the trajectory, the speed, you start reading the guy tossing the ball. On the serve, he's probably going to go uh, wide or down the line or flat. Or <clears throat> you, start, you, start, you start hitting the ball and, looking at, and, and, and not just looking what happened, but you look at the ball and you immediately react to your trajectory and, you, and, and then you look at the guy moving and his body talk is going to give you it's going to give you information if he's going to have time, if he's going to have a hard time getting to that ball, if he's barely, barely getting there, so you can anticipate and then you, you read his, the trajectory of his shot coming back. That's when you can, you start learning all those little things that, that, that help you read the game and that also help, you know, it keeps your mind in a natural way, it keeps your mind busy without you thinking too much. And you just learning, learning, and take notes, and learn and take notes, and learn and make mental notes, you know. And you start, and that's how you start growing as a player. But if there is one thing that you have to get used to, it's it's you have to you have to be fine with the fact that there are going to be a lot of matches that are going to be difficult, and you should be looking forward for those actually. And it's just I know it's sometimes it's not going to be comfortable, especially at first. But believe me, you just go back to it and then you're going to fall and then you just go back to it and you're going to fall and you just go back to it. You know, it's like I remember I had a very good friend, of, very good friend of mine when I was a teenager, probably 16, 17, and we went to a party together and, and there was a table full of girls, you know, and he was like, hey, you know what, I want to ask one of those girls to dance with me. Come on, you're my way, man. And I was like, no way, man. I, I, I was terrified of being rejected in front of everyone. And he was like, really? Whatever. And he just walked straight to the girl and said, hey, you want to dance? No. And he went to the next one. You want to dance? No. And he went to the next one. You want to dance? No. And then the, the fourth or the fifth, you want to dance? Yeah. And he, and he just got up and went with him, you know. And he will tell me, say, you know, you, when you get rejected so many times, you get to the point where you don't care. You just don't care. You don't feel nothing at all. You get to the point that, dude, the worst thing that happened to me, I already have it. I, I'm not dancing with her, with her. So the best thing that can happen is that I change it. And it's the best thing that can happen to you, that you're going to fail and fail and fail and fail. And the, 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 the only thing that is going to happen is that you're going to get better, I guarantee you, and, 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 you, and, and, and you start seeing changes in the way you think. And when you change the way you think, you start changing the way you move, the way you hit the ball, the way you talk to yourself, and all that stuff that comes together. Okay, guys, well, I hope it helps. Um, I will do the video for the rest, for the other three lines, you know, some other day. But let me know you like it. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Good to see you. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.